The king of a bunch of switches is back. I'll go just unveil their newest and most innovative lineup of switches. So in this video, I'll walk you through each of them and help you decide which one's the best for you. So there are a few key things you need to know about these switches that apply across the board. First off, the factory lube on these switches is really good. Usually, you might think about breaking them open to hand lube, but with these, it's just not necessary. Secondly, these are all on the louder and brighter side of things, so if you prefer a resin and clack, aqua switches are for you. And here's the big one, the price. Aqua's always been about bringing that value, and these switches are no exception. We're talking about 20 to 33 cents per switch. So even if you're building out a full 100 key keyboard, it's 30 something bucks at most. And you get the best deals for these switches at Milktooth, which I'll link down in the description. In collaboration with Aqua, we're excited to introduce a new way to purchase your switches. So usually Aqua switches come in packs of 45, but here's the thing. If you have a smaller keyboard and need only 60 switches, you'd usually have to buy two packs of 45, leaving you with 30 extra switches. That's not only inconvenient, but also a waste of money. To solve this problem, Milktooth now offers Aqua switches in smaller, more manageable packs of 10. This means you can buy just the right number of switches for your needs. No more wasted money on switches you don't need. Remember, this exclusive deal is only available at Milktooth, so you can get precisely what you need for your keyboard. So the cream yellow, blue, and black switches are all part of Aqua's cream lineup. They share the same material blend and travel distance, polycarbon at top, null on bottom, as well as a shortened 3.3mm travel. They all feel super smooth due to Akko's exceptional factory lubing and all sound pretty bright and clacky. That said, I'm going to single out the cream yellows as the loudest of the bunch. The cream blue tactiles are the lightest, with a 55 gram bottom out, they're lighter than 75% of switches out there, but they still maintain a satisfying bump. The cream yellows and blacks, on the other hand, are linear. The cream yellows are lighter than about half of switches out there, and the blacks are on the heftier side, with the 65 gram bottom out that's heavier than 62% of switches. So the cream blacks come in at 270 per 10, but the blues and yellows are more budget friendly at $2 per 10. Here are the sound tests for all of them. But if you prefer a slightly deeper sound signature, the pianos are great since they use a nylon top and bottom. Nylon is a softer plastic, which means it absorbs more sound, which gives you that signature lower pitch sound signature. That said, because of their long pull stem and shortened travel of just 3.1mm, these still make quite a statement sound-wise. Its 55 gram bottom out makes it lighter than 70% of switches in our selection, so expect a medium light typing experience with these pianos. These come in at 310 per 10, and here's a quick sound test. So the Magic Green Linears and Lavender Purple Tactiles share the same material blend as the creams, a polycarbon at top and nylon bottom. But unlike the creams, these have a more traditional and longer travel distance of 3.8mm, and they're just a bit louder and higher pitched than the creams. So the Lavender Purples are tactile, they are the lighter ones here with a 55 gram bottom out that's lighter than nearly 80% of switches out there. And I find the tactility to be really novel. There's a pretty round bump, but it's not overwhelming to type on either. But the Modra Greens, which are linear switches, are heftier with a 63 gram bottom out that's heavier than 60% of switches out there. And these are quite smooth since Aqua's done a great job with the factor lubing here. And these Modra Greens and Lavender Purples are both priced at 220 per 10. Here's a quick sound test for these. When it comes to switches, silver is synonymous with gaming, and that's certainly the case here. With a lighter bottom out than 97%, that's right, 97% of switches in our selection, the Akko V3 Silver Pro is considered super lightweight, and that's a good thing. You want something you can instantly register a keystroke with for those intense moments. Plus, with a shortened travel of 3.3mm, the switch is light and fast, and I'd say these are definitely more low pitched. So if thockiness is what you're after, these are also worth taking a closer look at. Here's a sound test. The Aqua V3 Crystal Pro is super interesting. It's crafted entirely from polycarbonate, even the stem. As such, I find a fairly chirpy and high-pitched sound signature here. It's a subtle yet satisfying sound profile that's really pleasant to me. Plus, this switch has a 60 gram bottom out, landing it squarely in the medium weight category. Lastly, these come in at 330 per 10. Take a listen to the crystals. Now these Penguin and Fairy switches are brand new. These are Aqua's first foray into silent switches. The penguins are tactiles, whereas the fairies are linears, and these both come in at 310 per 10. Now the penguins, I'd say, have a really delicate tactility. It's not super intense, far from it. It offers just a tinge of tactility, which I actually quite like. It's a relaxing sort of tactility, instead of something intense. The fairy switches, on the other hand, are linear, and they have the super pillowy feel that I love. 
It's just soft and it has a great delicate texture. If you like something just not intense at all, all just super subdued from weight to sound level, these silent switches are just what you're looking for. And now the quietest sound test of the video. Now that we've covered all the switches, here are back-to-back -back sound tests for all of them. When it comes to choosing the best one for you, here are some quick rankings in a few different categories. Here are the switches that range from clackiest to thockiest, from shortest to longest travel, from lightest to heaviest, from quietest to loudest, and from least to most expensive. Finally, these merely reflect my own preferences, but here's my top switch for each of these categories. The silvers, with its short travel and super lightweight actuation, make this easily my pick for gaming. It simply does what it's supposed to do. But the most unique option to me are the penguins. The combination of gentle tactility and quietness is super unique and I've tried over 150 switches. If I had to choose one as a daily driver, it's a hard pick, but right now I'm feeling these lavender purples. I think it's because it blends some of the old and the new. It has a more traditional, longer travel, but also features the excellent factory lube you find in new switches. I just dig it a lot. But if you're interested in researching other budget switches, especially if you're exploring deeper and thockier options, make sure to click this video here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.